Hey team, welcome back to another awesome Planet Fitness workout with me, Carol Zemer. I'm a Planet Fitness trainer in Columbia, Pennsylvania, and oh me, oh my, I have another lower body workout for you guys today. Remember, our team members are working around the clock to keep the clubs nice and clean for you so that way you can come in and gym confidently. We're about to get started in our 30 minute circuit where you can get a full body workout in, you guessed it, 30 minutes. Now, I'm gonna be using it a little bit differently, but if you're headed back to the club, make sure that you're using each station in order so that way you can get that full body effect. Today's workout is a great workout to move and groove if you got a little injury on the lower half of your body. So anything in the hips and the knees and the ankles, don't worry, I'm gonna modify it and this is gonna be a great workout to keep that lower body moving. So what I'm gonna ask you to grab is a resistance band and a bench. Now, I do have a bench with me today in the circuit, but typically that's not something you would find in the circuit. So when you're headed back to the club, head to your free weight area, you'll find the benches there. All right, let's get moving and grooving and let's get started with our warm up. Our first exercise, we're just gonna march. All right, nice and easy. Good. Really engage the core. I want you to keep the core nice and tight this whole workout, okay? Awesome, next one. Over and under the hurdle. If you've worked out with me before, we've done these before. Go nice and low for those unders. Knees nice and high for the over. Good. Awesome. Now, if your range limits you, that's fine. Remember, this is your workout today, okay? Good, let's go back one more time. Great, all right. One more round of those marches. Good, again, core nice and tight. Perfect. All right, all right, back to those over-unders. Over. Real deep into those hips. Good. Perfect. Awesome, let's go back one more time. All right, great job. Okay, so like I said, we will be using some resistance bands. I have what's called resistance loops. If you do not have these, I'm gonna show you modifications without these pieces of equipment. If you don't have a bench and you're working with me from home, feel free to grab a seat on your couch or on a kitchen table chair. All right, so first exercise, you will need a band. Again, if you have a band with you, just make sure you're seating down to put the bands on. All right, we're gonna go just above the knee, okay? The reason that we're going above the knee for the banded hip walks, if we go below the knee, it's gonna put a little torque into the knee. So if we're going below it and you have bad knees, just be, keep that in mind. If you do have the bad knees, just keep it up above. It'll feel a little bit better for you, okay? So we're gonna go two steps to the side, two steps back. All right, small steps, come into a nice little squat. One, two, good. Okay, come back. Perfect. Small pick up in place. Try not to drag your back foot. Great job. Two more times. You got it. Good. And only come down to your range, all right? Once you make it back, go ahead and stand up. Great job. All right. Go ahead and have a seat. We're going to move it down. You're going to step on one side of the band, okay? We're stepping on one side of the band and then it's opposite foot, opposite hand, all right? From here, kickstand that back foot. You're gonna hinge at your hip, okay? Hinge back, come down right below your knee and then stand up. We're gonna focus on strengthening the hamstring. Good. Perfect. Good, we're gonna get 10 on each side and then we're gonna go back to our lateral step. So my second round, I'm gonna show you without the band, okay? Good. How's this feeling? Good, few more here. Last one. So pumped you're with me today. Great job, okay. Go ahead and take that out of that foot. We're gonna step it onto the other foot again, switch hands, opposite hand, opposite foot. Again, hinge at the hips, 
kickstand that back leg, slight bend on the standing leg, okay? Press, hinge over, just past the knee. Good. Perfect, nice flat back. Try not to round your back, you're doing great. Keep it up team, you got it. Really focus on that balance. Again, nice tight core, we got two more here. Last one. All right, great work. Good, so I come to a seated position again to take that band off. Like I said, I'm gonna show you the second, ex or the second round of this exercise without any band, so that way if you're at home with me, we're still gonna get that work. All right, you ready? Go ahead, come into that nice little squat. What I want you to do if you're at home, you're gonna put a little bit of tension into the outside of the knees, okay? Two steps down, two steps back. Good. Step one. We're gonna go down and back five times. Outstanding, you got it. We're halfway. Drive those knees out into your hands if you're with me. We got one more. Good, make it back. We got it. Great job, go ahead, stand up. I know those glutes are feeling it. Getting all that great work in today. Good. All right, so like I said, if you have your band, you're gonna be doing the deadlift. If not, with the band. If you don't have the band, we're gonna be doing it just body weight, okay? Again, kickstand the leg. We're gonna hinge and just reach past. You're still gonna get the same effect, okay? All right, so we're here for 10 on each side. Good, so from the side, hinge up the hips. Good, nice flat back. Good. Oh, you got it. I really focus on that balance. Good. Seven, you're doing great. And one more on this side. Great job. All right, go ahead, face the other side. If you need that little stretch anywhere during this workout, we're gonna do um, a little ham, or sorry, a little glute stretch. That's what I'm looking for. Cross your legs, and then you're gonna reach for the ground. Good. If you have something beside you to stabilize you, you can use that as well. Perfect. All right, get to the other side. Go ahead, find your balance. Kick stand that back foot. All right, hinge at the hips. And we're in it. Two. Good. Three. Four. Good. Halfway. This is going to be an awesome strength session to really focus on our balance. Again, if we have any of those underlying lower body injuries, last one. We're still going to get a great workout in. All right. That's it. First superset, we're done. Taking that to the side, next one. You're gonna need a, need a band. If, again, if you don't have one, I'm gonna show you that modification as well. Have a seat, we're gonna put it right back over our, just above our knees again. Perfect. From here, one knee will go on to the bench if you have it, or your couch if you're at home. All right, and then from here, what we're gonna do is drive up, okay? Drive. Okay? So we're just leaning over, keeping our knee nice and bent. Core nice and tight, okay? Another way you can do it, again, without the band. Make sure you have something to hold on to when you're taking that off. You're just gonna drive your knee, your heel, up to the sky. So flex your foot, try not to point it. Flex and then drive it up to the sky. Still that same effect on the glute, okay? All right. You ready? We're gonna get 10 on each side. Go ahead, come over to your bench. We're gonna lean over and we're in it. Two, good. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. You're gonna feel it here in the stability leg as well. One more. Great job. All right, go ahead and switch legs. All right, you ready? Here we go. And drive. Three. 
Good. Five nice tight core. Last one. Great job. All right, go ahead and come on out of that. Remember, take your time. Be very careful taking your band off. Good. For our next one, we're just gonna come into a, a modified squat pulse, okay? So we're gonna come into a very small squat, all right? Three quarter squat. From here, we're just gonna pulse it for 10, okay? You ready? Go ahead and come down with me. We're gonna pulse in three, two, one. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Go ahead, stand up. Good. All right. How are you feeling? Go ahead and massage those quads. Do that stretch that I showed you at the beginning. Go ahead, cross over and reach down. Perfect. Cross the other leg over. Good. All right. One more, back at the top, I'm gonna to show you without the band, if you have your band with you for the glute kicks, go ahead and put that on. Without the band, remember, we're flexing our foot, okay? So instead of pointing, we're gonna flex it, all right? You ready? Slight bend in the stability leg. We're here for 10. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, Ten. Great job. Go ahead and switch to the other side. All right. So we're not putting too much pressure on that knee. So we won't have to kneel on it if you have any knee issues, okay? Go ahead and flex that back foot. And again, drive. Slight bend in that stability leg. So that's the leg that you're standing on right now. Good. Seven. Eight. Nine. Last one. Ten. Great job. All right. Wonderful mod squat pulse. You ready for it? Go ahead, come down into that three quarter squat. All right. You with me? Everybody in it? All right. Three, two, one. Go ahead, pulse. One, two, three, four, five. Good. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Let's hold it for a few extra seconds. You got it. Come on, stay with me. And up, great job, all right, shake it out. Guess what, Sir, superset number two, kicking it out of the park, we are done with that one. How are your legs feeling? Go ahead and comment below, how do your legs feel if you do have any hindering um, leg issues or if you have any ankle weakness or anything like that, this should be helping. I recommend doing this exercise maybe once or twice more. Really help that balance out, all right? You ready for the last or the last superset? And then I have a little surprise for you at the end. Okay, next one, banded hamstring curls. So you will need a lighter band if you have it. Again, if not, I'm gonna show you a modification, okay? You're gonna step on it with one side. The other side, it goes around your ankle, okay? I don't know if you can see it from here. One side around the ankle, one side on the foot underneath, okay? The side that you have around the ankle we're gonna kick that heel right up to the high knee and we're gonna work the hamstring, okay? If you need something to balance on, by all means grab it, okay? If not, we're gonna try and work on a little bit of balance here, okay? You ready? 10 on each side. Three, two, one. Good. Nice tight tummy. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Great job, all right. Easy way to switch it. Watch my feet. You ready? Step in, step out. That's it. Now we can switch. All right, you ready? Three, two, one. Great job again. Nice tight core. All right, PF family, we're getting strong together. Remember, it takes one person in one moment to make the workout, to make a difference in our body. We got it. A few more here. Finish out your 10. Great job. All right. How'd that feel? Feel good? Go ahead, have a seat. We can take the band off of our ankles. This next one, I'm going to have you lean off to the side, okay? So we're just going to lean to the side. Front leg or our inside leg is going to go out. All right. So if we're leaning to the left, my, my left leg is coming out. And we're gonna lift it up, working on the inside of our leg, okay? 
and back down. It's called our adductor, adductor. All right, you ready? 10 on each side, three, two, one. This is body weight only, as high as you feel comfortable. Okay, again, nice tight core. Two more. Great job, all right, go ahead and switch. Again, so if I'm leaning to my right, my right leg is coming out in front of me and we're gonna lift it up, okay? Nice pointed toe for anybody that has some dancer experience. You ready? Nice tight core and up. Good. You got it. Good, all right. How'd that feel? You can feel it all on the inside, right? Perfect. All right, I'm gonna show you the hamstring curl without the band. If you have your band with you, by all means, grab it and we'll get to work, okay? All right, for this one, what I want you to imagine is having a ball. If, you, if you're at home and you don't have the equipment, grab a small pillow. If, you're, if you have one of your kids' toys, a tennis ball, whatever you have, go ahead and put that in between your knee and you're gonna squeeze in between your knees, squeeze your heel to your butt and pulse it, okay? That's what we're gonna do for any of you that don't have any equipment, just our beautiful selves. That's what our next one's gonna be, okay? 10 on each side, you ready? Three, two, one, place that ball, and we're in it, one, two, good. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, outstanding, good. Go ahead and switch it, so if you have the ball or the item on, between your knees, honestly, it could be anything. It could be a dish rag, whatever you have, okay? Go ahead, place that. You ready? And we're in it. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Outstanding. Go ahead, shake it out. All right. So we got the back of the leg. Now we got to get the inside of the leg. So go ahead, have a seat. Lean off to one side. Front leg comes out. You're gonna scooch out till you're about on the edge of the bench. Okay. 10 on each side, you ready? We're in it. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Outstanding. Go ahead and switch sides. Go ahead and lean over. Foot to the front, onto the edge of the bench. Last one. One, two, three, four, five. Six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Great job. I don't know about you. If you're with me, I know you're feeling it, but I am feeling it. My legs are feeling great. If you can, go ahead, cross your legs, and we're just gonna turn into it. This is one of our cool down exercises, but if we need it now, we need it now, right? Good, stretch into it. It's gonna stretch here. Good, if you can do the figure four, if your knees are comfortable with that, go ahead and figure four, just kind of like you're reading the newspaper, we're just gonna lean forward real quick. Good, so I did say I have a surprise for you at the end. And what's a good leg day without a little core burnout, right? All right, go ahead and stand up. We're gonna stand up nice and tall, okay? So we're gonna do 60 seconds each side. Hands are gonna be right behind the ears. We're gonna come down on hand, her elbow to knee. And we're going to do 60 seconds of here. So it's going to be out to the side and then 60 seconds in for a cross. All right. A little bit of a core burnout. And then I promise I'll let you go. Okay. You with me? Little dance off. All right. Ready? Three, two, one. Out to the side. Good. So I'm going to do 30 seconds standing, 30 seconds sitting. Okay. So we can do this exercise sitting. Good. This is all we have. This is it. Engage that core nice and tight. You got it. A few more seconds. Keep pushing. You got it. Come on. Good. Big breath. Every time you bring your knee up. Good. I'm going to finish it off in a seated position. Good. You got it. Keep pushing. Good. A few more seconds. 20 seconds. That's it. Come on. Keep pushing. Keep working. 
Keep crunching. Keep winning. Celebrate those wins with more crunches. You got it. Good. 10 seconds. You got it. Come on. Three, two, one. Great job. Shake out those arms. I know your arms are feeling it. Take a little break. Then we'll get into cross. So we're going to go opposite knee to opposite elbow. Okay. You ready? Go ahead and stretch out the core if you need it. All right. This is it. This is it. 60 seconds. And then we're going to get to a cool down. All right. You ready? <laughs> Hands behind your ears. Three, two, one. Good. Remember, big exhale as you're turning. The less air you have in your lungs as you're contracting your core and your abdomen, the stronger that your abdomen is going to get because you're going to give your abdomen more work. Good. Keep going. Keep pushing. Remember, at that 30 second mark, I'm going to go to a seated position. Okay, keep going. All right, we're 30 seconds. Keep going. You got it. Keep breathing. This is it, team. This is all we got. You guys did outstanding today. All that hard work. Keep pushing. Keep burning and burning. Come on. 10 seconds. We're well, almost there. Five, four, three, two, one. Finish it. All right. That's awesome. Great work. All right. So. We're gonna do a few cool down. How do you feel? You feel great? All your legs are, all your leg muscles are working. They're ready to go. All right. So into our hamstring stretch, what we're gonna do is I'm gonna have you, same thing as I showed you earlier, we can do the crossover stretch where you lean forward, or if that puts any tension on the knees, pick out one foot and you're just gonna reach as much as you can with a straight back, okay? Good. Perfect. Good, and we'll get the other side. Great job, team. All right. Next one, we're gonna go into a standing quad stretch. So grab something if you need something for balance, okay? If it's your bench, if it's a wall or a railing, go ahead and grab that. And we're just gonna grab right above our ankle. Stretch out the quad. Stretch out those squat pulses. Good, and switch, other side. Good. Perfect. And we'll end it in that seated torso turn. So we're just gonna turn away from our body, stretch out the core. And then switch, opposite hand, turn away. Good. All right, team, that is all she wrote. How awesome was it that we could still work our body, still work our lower body, even with anything hindering the lower body, any injuries or anything like that, you can still get that great work in, all right? Remember that you can still keep tuning in Monday through Friday for more workouts with myself or more of your favorite trainers. You can also join us on the app for more content to keep your beautiful selves moving. All right, let's bring it in for PF on three. One, two, three, PF. I hope your day is as beautiful as you are. I'll see you next time.